Hello there, my friends. Chris Mark is here with you for Arcadia Economics. And today, a quick video about the real estate market and interest rates, something I've been thinking about that I think would be useful to keep in mind. Um, obviously, over the past year, a lot of the real estate stocks, here's Toll Brothers, you can see, has gotten beaten up pretty good. If we take a look here at the S&B Home Builders Index, as you can see, was down quite a bit, uh, has rebounded, and certainly uh, in some ways matches what's happened with the stock market where, you know, over the past decade, you've seen the stock values go up quite a bit. And then as rates have been rising, you saw, especially last September and October, the bubble begin to pop a little bit. And interestingly, that's changed now because the Fed, once again, reversing course, has stopped uh, undoing its balance sheet. Apparently, I don't think we're getting any rate hikes, it sounds like, this year. Uh, personally, on an even money bet, I would take that we would get a rate cut before a rate hike. will be interesting to see how it goes. Yet, what I want to get back to here is looking at the uh, the home builder stocks you can see like many assets in September and October getting beaten up pretty good and then things rebounded and again is tied to the Fed in the sense that I just mentioned although really to put that in better perspective let's take a look at the one-year chart here so you can see really as the interest rates have changed here, we were up at about almost 323 and a quarter percent back in November. So a lot of these home builders have rebounded in some cases even more than some of the other general stock markets because you have, they're so directly dependent on the interest rate. So as the interest rate has gone down quite a bit, here you see interest rates rising from September through November into December before plummeting and matches exactly what's happened here with Toll Brothers. You see as the interest rates were going up, the thing was getting pounded. <laughs> I actually did have a put on uh, for a while there, which was working out well. And then, although as you see here, when rates are going up, or we're going down rather, the value of Toll Brothers was rising. Similar dynamic here. Again, you see September and October, things went down. And here the chart isn't as direct as the Toll Brothers, but still you see now with rates much lower. And think about that, because all of these mortgages, when the rate goes up, A, that puts more strain on the buyer in terms of the interest expense, and B, it also makes the existing mortgages that are out there less valuable because if you want to invest in a mortgage with an equivalent amount of credit risk, certainly if you can get 4% rather than the one that's trading 3%, um, so as the rates go up, the value of the mortgage goes down. So not <laughs> won't even get into today the pressure that puts on the banks or the government, but in general, especially in the real estate market, um, you're going to see as rates go up, that will put pressure on stocks like home builders. As rates go down, you would see home builders do well like they have. So again, in many ways, uh, like many things in the world, dependent on what the Fed is going to do. Actually an interesting time right now because certainly when they were hiking, the markets were starting to run into some trouble. You know, if they had continued to hike, would have been a really great time to continue shorting. Yet the challenge now is, well, the hike is kind of on pause. Are there going to be rate cuts? So maybe less of an obvious short, yet in either case to the degree that you have a handle on what the Fed may do or, you know, just planning for the future and what to watch for, certainly I would expect that the move in, movement in the interest rates will have a very highly correlated effect with what happens in the home builders. So something to think about. 
hit the darn subscribe button. Hope you found this helpful and I will talk to you again soon.